Hello and welcome back. Now we will be looking at hybrid cloud model. In our last couple of lessons, we looked at public cloud model as well as the private cloud model. With the public cloud model, different customers using the same set of hardware servers uh, like storage and things like that with the public cloud model. And with the private cloud model, we looked at how hardware and servers and storages were dedicated or completely isolated to one specific customers. So the major difference would be here uh, for a single customer with the private cloud and with the public cloud uh, multiple customers using the same resources. We also saw with the private cloud how we could look at into a two different ways, either having our own data center uh, which is a private cloud we can consider or isolated a uh, portion of Microsoft Azure that we are using and we can also call it as a private cloud. In this lecture we will be taking a look at hybrid cloud and we are going to see how it combines aspects uh, from both uh, uh, that is public clouds and the private clouds point of view to uh, give us the most uh, flexibility within the hybrid cloud. So what we are doing is we are actually connecting um, these two different clouds together so that they can communicate with each other. For example, let's say we are using some resources in Microsoft Azure cloud, that's a public cloud, and we also have some either on-premises servers or networks um, that we want to connect uh, the servers which are inside your uh, private cloud wanted to communicate with the public cloud servers then we enable the communication so that way it would actually establish the hybrid cloud so again so when it actually uh, establishes the communication we called uh, that that actually represents uh, as a, in the form of the bridge or whatever the connectivity format that's called the hybrid cloud and again some of the pros and the cons for this uh, each and every approach would be there right so we wanted to discuss those approach so before that there are two bullet points one would be the combination of a private and one or more public clouds is represents the hybrid cloud and also it actually enables the IT organizations to come become as a brokers of the different services now let's have a look on the pros as well as on the con side so the first point would be the uh, pros side it actually offers a great flexibility some applications or systems on your end may require safe data in a certain way or maybe a compliance issues or security issues that uh, require you to do a certain way of designing your own applications uh, or those as specific applications so that data doesn't actually uh, go out or something like that so you might have such kind of requirements or things like that so uh, you can put it them into the public cloud model uh, so what you would be doing is instead of you know putting on the public cloud you would be putting into the private cloud and the applications uh, you wanted to you know secure it and you wanted to isolate it in environment you are putting so at the end you know when you bridge them it's one application with the uh, end customers that way you get the uh, great flexibility and now let's take an example for the uh, resilience uh, to the outages let's say uh, if your private cloud is on premises data center and you have an outage uh, for whatever the reason maybe but you always have an ability to fall back to your public cloud in Azure or vice versa you might have to set it up uh, where if your Azure resources goes down your systems can be failed back to your on-premises data center but things like that can be done automatically so that's one of the examples so it makes easy uh, really nice in that if if any of the outage does happens having these two different clouds uh, kind of uh, like act uh, as a redundancy in the background to keep your servers or services up and running so there's no down for your uh, business uh, in, in front of the business side also there could be no capacity ceiling uh, when you take this kind of you know hybrid approach now let's think about on-premises data center uh, as your private cloud if you were the if you are uh, considering to expand your on-premises data center it might cost us a lot of money 
a lot of money to expand and building uh, getting more showers things like that however if we decided we are no longer going to expand our data center but any further purchases uh, will go through microsoft azure and we wanted to set up in the public cloud uh, as the he one of the uh, options so that what would happen is that we uh, we need more services of uh, more uh, services we no longer have to worry about building them into our current data center and buying more hardware so we can just start deploying new servers new applications new uh, business specific things to azure and because of that we have no ceiling of a uh, ceiling for the capacity since as you can scale uh, infinitely or uh, we are never going to run out of space for all of your applications to start moving over to azure so this is also provides a great way to transition uh, transition uh, to happen from your private cloud or from your on premises data center to move to microsoft public uh, cloud model since we are only using our private cloud for the applications that require this greater level of customization or security we get the manageability there uh, that we need but we don't have to apply it all of our resources some of the apps that we have uh, that are easy to manage can just stay in the public cloud and we don't have to do anything special now now let's talk about con site uh, the con site would be definitely it's going to be higher upfront uh, capital expensive uh, is needed because we are definitely talking about the private cloud also when we talk about the hybrid hybrid also consists of private that means private cloud itself a on-premises data center or maybe the service which you own that means you are putting upfront capital expenses since we have dedicated servers or are in the isolated resources in our own data center or on premises data center or maybe on our private cloud we risk under utilizing these resources and we have higher ongoing cost and maintenance of uh, those uh, resources since again they are dedicated just for us and uh, more maintenance also additionally uh, our private cloud might uh, give us a little bit less compatibility with our public cloud depending on our situation usually on any of the on-premises uh, to azure or azure to uh, azure hybrid cloud will work just fine but in case that you wanted to uh, hook up different cloud services like uh, making a hybrid cloud out of uh, azure and aws resources there might be uh, some issues with compatibility that's getting uh, going there but uh, on the on the all uh, the hybrid cloud model is a great approach to kind of getting the best uh, both worlds you can deploy easy applications to your public cloud and save money that way but the systems and applications that going to have that uh, needed additional security and customizations can be deployed to your private cloud and both the public and private uh, cloud can talk to each other and act as a one big system altogether. being said i'm gonna conclude this lesson and catch you in the next lesson thank you for watching this